guys, I am so excited for our first guest. He's multi-Grammy award-winning singer and songwriter. He's also penned some of R&B's biggest hits for artists like Beyonce, Rihanna, and even Whitney Houston. Hit his song. latest song, <laughs> his latest song, You to Love, is at the top of the R&B Billboard charts and nominated for a Soul Train Award. Please welcome Neo into the mix. Hey. 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 What's going on, y'all? What's going on? What's going on? What's up, Neo? Well, Thank you. How you doing? <laughs> Good. I'm good. How, how wait, hold on. Uh Zanik, how you doing? <laughs> you, 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 almost, you almost ready, right? I'm almost ready. I am tired out here. I'm tired. You know, I'm gonna be asking for some parent advice, some parenting advice, but I'm gonna let I'm gonna let my co-host go first. <laughs> I, I just wanted to start by saying congratulations, mama. Congratulations. Thank you. The only Thank headache you. you'll ever choose right now is, is what's what's going on with you. So I understand. Just, <laughs> I, I just hear. wanna say congrats. That's it. Thank you. What it is, what it is, y'all. Man, I got to ask you, how's the family? You know, I saw on your IG you were celebrating a birthday. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so my, my oldest child, my daughter, Maddie, she turned 10. Uh, <clears throat> so we went to, she did, she wanted to go skating. So we did the skating party. And um, me being the, the, the working dad, I completely forgot that I had an interview to do. So oh. I had to leave the party early. So that was whack. So I had to, I had to do a makeup party the following day. Uh, yeah, so that, that's why that's why it seemed like we were celebrating our birthday for like four days because we kind of was. But, but yeah, but she had a great time. You know what I'm saying? It's it's, it's good. Uh, uh, this is it's, I love the age that she's at now because she can help me with the younger kids, her little brothers. You know, but I got a, a, a ten year old, a nine year old, four year old, and a two year old. So you know, now I can just pass them off to Maddie. Like, hey, watch them for a few hours while I go do whatever it is I got to do, and I you know I give you a little something. It works out. It works out. <laughs> no, <laughs> well, perfect. Since we already jumped in it. So you say you have a two-year-old. You know, I got to ask about the young kids because I'm, I'm started early. You know, we're at the beginning with me. So yeah, yeah. is the two, is it really the terrible two? Because some people tell me it's really not two, it's three. Like, what? what's the terrible? What's the worst? Um, so, I, so Roman, Roman is our two-year-old. And uh, I can honestly say I can't remember it not being Terrible. Ro, Ro kind of been terrible. <laughs> and not necessarily terrible. Just, okay, so Ro, Roman is the type of baby that's going to give you one of these. And then you pick him up and bow, he's going to hit you Ooh. as hard as you can. Okay. Then, like, like, this is Ro. This is what Ro does. And everyone in the house understands. So you, so you pick him up like this now. Like, hey, I, 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 all right, yeah. All right, chill. All right, come on, relax. It's, it's, it's that. Yeah, now I'm praying that, that once we get to three and four, he grows out of that. But as of right now, yeah, Ro is still on you. That's just that's just who that's just what it is. Wow. Oh, yeah. okay. okay. Now that your daughter okay. is getting older, are you one of those dads that's like you're scared to the dating age where she's gonna be dating boys? Oh. Are you like um, not looking forward to that for sure? Uh, uh she she's ten right now, and I, ain't, I ain't, I'm gonna let her be ten. I ain't worrying about that until I absolutely have to. As of right now, yeah. we, we boys got cootie still, and we gonna leave it just like that. <laughs> <laughs> we gonna leave it like that. <laughs> <laughs> the rose we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. I got I got a little while. Let me let me keep my baby for a minute. Um, <laughs> well, listen. Now that we got you here, let's yeah. get into some hot topics with the mix. Okay. So over the weekend, it was confirmed that the next versus battle will be between Jeezy and Gucci Mane. Now this may be the battle for mm. Atlanta. Now Neo, you know I gotta ask. You worked with both of them. Who you got in this versus battle? Mm. Uh, I got I got to go with Jeezy, man. I have a I have a, a slightly better relationship with Jeezy. Nothing nothing against Gucci. Gucci is is Gucci is a goat. You know everybody know that. There's no denying that. But I, just from a personal standpoint, I have a slightly better personal relationship with, with Jeezy. Mm. Um, but I mean, take, taking per, taking personal out the mix, I really don't know, man, because they both they both legends in this game. You know, I think I think above. Uh, the musical element, the musical aspect of it, I think it's dope for them to come together on this, considering the fact that they, you know, they had the little beef for so long. Like it was, it was like, right. I mean, I, I'm calling it a little beef, but it, it wasn't exactly little. Like it was <laughs> beef beef. <laughs> <laughs> it was right. a real it thing. Was it was, they, they both, they both walk it like they talk it. You know what I'm saying? They not, they, they not just them cast their rap about it and, and don't live it. Like them, them dudes is real. Mm. So for the fact that they could squash all that. And and you know be men about it and, and come together on this, which is mind you, they call it verses, but it really ain't verses. It ain't. It's it's 
it's more about yeah. celebrating the two artists in, yeah. in the moment. You know what I mean? So I'm, I just think it's dope that they could come together in this moment and put all that, you know, put all that drama to the side and let us, you know, let us yeah. celebrate the, the, the legends that they are. I think that that's the dopest thing about this whole thing. But if I must choose, probably gonna go with Jesus. Yeah. I got okay. You. A lot of honesty. A lot of honesty. Right. Hey, who you got? Who you got, Rome? Man, I love both. You know, I'm from down south, you know, country boy. They mm -hmm. both was inspired by my pop's masterpiece. So both, I'm I'm 50 50. You know, Gucci used to be at the crib recording. Jeezy came, always show love. He actually picked my dad brain one on one. So both of those guys, um, I, I can't pick. So Neo, he for Jeezy. I'm 50. <laughs> Who jazz? Got? Yeah, I was about to say jazz. Who you got? Oh God! <laughs> Who you got? Okay, so listen to Jeezy more growing up, so I'm gonna have to go with Jeezy because I know more Jeezy songs than I know Gucci songs, so I have to go with Jeezy. Okay. And I love it. Okay, I'm gonna eyeball up. I'm saying Gucci all Whoa. day. Gucci all day. Yeah, Gucci I have to agree with Anton because I'm not gonna lie to you, growing up, I don't think I ever really heard Jeezy and like to this day, I've never really heard him. What? So I'm just gonna have to. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm that's sorry. why this verse is like. Are you like eight years old? I, I, <laughs> you, She's the baby. I guess I'm kind of showing how I am. Okay. The baby. All right. All right. I, I'm not trying to be disrespectful. I'm like, oh, no, okay, you're good. You be extremely young. She is. Yeah, yeah, I, ain't no wrong with that. Yeah. She's yeah. the youngest one of the group. That's our baby. Yeah. No, okay. I am really. Right. Yeah. But no, like we're gonna we're gonna move right along to the next topic. Okay. So okay. it looks okay. like R and B is coming to the Super Bowl, y'all. It was recently announced that The weekend will be headlining this year's halftime show. What do y'all think about that? That's big for The weekend. That's really big for him. I wouldn't. I think that. Uh, I think that if you've ever if you've ever been to a weekend show, uh, if you ever caught The weekend on any of the little you know the little uh, TV programs or whatever case may be, you know mm -hmm. that that dude puts on a show. You know, and it's, mm -hmm. it's never the same thing. It's always mm -hmm. something some interesting, something slightly you know slightly left. And uh, uh, I, I think it's entertaining to watch. So I feel like for him to get a stage that big, I, I, I'm, I'm anxious to see what it is he gonna do. You know, in his last video, he wasn't even in it. It was just his head. It was two girls kissing on just his head. So I'm like, uh, wow. All right. Uh, but 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 it's but it's 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 interesting. It's eclectic. It's different. And I feel like you know, with that size stage, I feel like there's the, the sky's the limit. So it, it ain't no telling what that might be like. But above yeah. all. It's gonna rock because you know the weekend do what he do. Like you, you can't deny, you can't deny the music at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. Do you consider him R and B though? Um, nah, I think that it's almost an insult to to call him just R and B. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. The weekend is that cat that'll he'll give you an R and B joint. He'll give you something with the heavy 808s and all of that. Then he'll turn around and give you ding, 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 ding. Mm -hmm. like you know what I'm saying? Like he he can he's versatile with it. So I feel like I feel like to just call it R and B might be might be uh, putting him in a, a very small box when he's way bigger than that. I agree. Yeah, no, I agree. I just, do you have a favorite Super Bowl show, like halftime show? Um, Got to be hands down Michael Jackson. And oh. I might be showing my age right now, but Michael Jackson, <laughs> hands down. The man right popped there. up on right. stage and stood still for 20 minutes. And people 20 just minutes. <laughs> this oh. is true. And just, <laughs> we can never 20 minutes. that. <laughs> <laughs> and then he took the glasses off and stood there for another 15 minutes. And people just lost like, their who, damn who can do that? And then the show started. I, I, mm. he, yeah, yeah. He's he's the greatest, the greatest of all time for me. Rest in peace, MJ, for mm. real. Yeah. What about you, Neo? Would you ever perform for this on a Super Bowl? Um, uh, once the NFL got their head together, yeah, yeah. Mm. You know, once yeah. they left people alone about wanting to kneel if they feel like kneeling and all that, sure. But you know, it's 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 slightly bigger than that for me, you know what I'm saying? I I, I would yeah. do it, but it would have to be the, the terms would have to be right, you know what I mean? I can't I can't have them on the social injustice thing that they was on for as long as they was, and then go in there like, hey, let me do a show. Nah, I, I need I need y'all to get y'all mind right first, and then I let me, you know. Not that they called me, but <laughs> they, <should. laughs> they did. They should. Yeah. I, I would I would they need I would need should. something like that first, you know. The NBA. Every, 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 every team in the NBA had on Black Lives Matter. They put it in your face. Man. They made sure that you saw it. They made sure that it was a moment. You know what I'm saying? And yet, uh, Kaepernick still can't get a job. What? Oh. That don't make, no, don't make no sense. That make no sense. So that's, that's, I mean, that's slightly off of the question that you asked. But yeah, that would be one of my conditions. I'm, I'm going to need y'all to get y'all mind right first. I want to ask you this because you're such an inspiration, man. I remember when you first came out and then even me being in high school, 
you literally like the playlists of my high school. Like you don't know that. No, I'm proactive when I have my little bumps, me and my cousins <laughs> love trying to do the dance move. Like, who this who this cat is? But um, I definitely want to give you your roses while you're here. But I gotta ask you, who does Neo have on his top five R and B artists? Oh, mm. um, okay. Are we talking of all time? Are we talking current? Like all time. Like who inspired all you? All time. Okay. So there are five artists that um I've kind of fashioned myself after over uh, from the start of my career to now. Like these, like if I could take these five artists and meld them into one person, this is the artist that Neo has always aspired to be. And those mm -hmm. five are Prince, Michael Jackson, Stevie Wonder, Sammy Davis Jr., and Marvin Gaye. Oh, uh, I call them my five kingdoms. Like that's just I just taken bits and pieces of each one of them and 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 you know incorporated it into what it is that I do to make this 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 neo thing what it is. You know, you made me want to pull something out. Hold on, yeah, hold on. wait. So now I was, so, I was afraid of about five of all time, but like who's your what? Baby, that's what it's all about. That Marvin Gaye, hey, baby. Okay. Come on now, yeah. that's what Marvin yeah. is. Indeed, so, indeed. So hey, you go, Google. Who is your top five now? Like your top current five. new mm -hmm. R&B artists? All right, let me so see. Um, huge fan of her. Her can do no wrong in my eyes. Um, mm -hmm. Let me see. Uh, Chris Brown, say what it, say what you want, you know, about him personally. I don't give a damn. You, you can't deny the music. You mm -hmm. can't deny the talent. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and mind you, I, I love that he's in a, he's in a much more, he seemed like he's in a much more zen place. Yeah. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And I, I love agree. that. That, that he stepped away from everything for a second and, and, and you know got whatever whatever drama was in the way whatever demons whatever and got it out the way and said listen it's about my music it's about my family you know what i'm saying that dude is a father now and, and I, I just love the place that he's in now everybody got a pass no one no one walking the face of the earth is perfect we've all done things we're not proud of whatever i love where he's at now and 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 i i gotta get that man's roses um the weekend definitely so that's three. Let's see her. Uh, uh, loving what Summer Walker is doing right now. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's four. Um, and five, I have to go. Uh, he does not get the credit he deserves, in my personal opinion. Eric Bellinger. Are y'all familiar? Yeah. 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 Eric Bellinger yeah. is so yeah. dope. And, and I can't yeah. wait for the day that the world realizes how dope that dude is. You know what Man. I'm saying? He's been doing it for a while. He's been, mind you, doing it for himself and doing it for some of your favorite artists, you know, right? For sure. Your favorite right. song might be one that he pinned. Like, he's 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 that mm -hmm. dude. So shout out to the boy Eric Bellinger. And uh, the world needs to get hip, for real. He can actually oh, think, We too. have to go to break right now, so go listen to some Eric Bellinger and <laughs> okay. the mix, telling us about his new exciting project and we come back, so keep it locked in right here on Fox Soul. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yo, welcome back to the mix, y'all. We got Neo, Neo with us. He's a, such a great guest. Yes, okay, Neo, look, we gotta congratulate you because uh, you were just nominated for a Soul Train Award for your song, yes. You to Love. That's dope, yeah. man. So at this point in the game, after you've been nominated so many times, does it feel like the first time you've been nominated or they all kind of just feel the same? Uh, well, well, before I answer that question, I wanna, I wanna, uh, I wanna, Please make sure that everybody is praying for my boy Jeremiah. He's he's in a he's in a bad way right now. Yeah. You know what I mean. So uh, just make sure that you keep him in your prayers. Uh, uh, keep his family in your prayers. You know uh, uh, this this COVID thing then came through and threw a monkey wrench in everybody's situation, and yeah. and he's no exception. So so much love to my boy Jeremiah. Um, the, the song is featuring Jeremiah. To anybody that doesn't know, um, <laughs> I've been I've been singing this man's praises for the last few weeks. You know, every time somebody asks me about the song, I gotta give Jeremiah his roses because. I, I always give credit where credit is due, and I'm never going to take credit for something that I didn't do, right? So the night that me and Jeremiah did this record, he pulled up on me and was like, you know, I have a few songs that are like half songs. I've, I've done like a verse and a hook. We can do something like that, or we can start something fresh, however you want to do it. I was like, well, play something. He played this joint, and mind you, the hook was done. His verse was done. The beat was what it was. All I did mm -hmm. was put my verse on it and put it out, like so, so. All the genius behind this record, the, taking those two samples and, and, and mixing them together like that, that was all Jeremiah. So oh. much love to that dude. He's ah. a musical genius and has been for a very long time. 
Um, as far as the nomination, man, it, it feel good. Like I, we was, we was, you know, off air. We was just talking about just the age difference and how we bringing the two generations together. I'm 41 years old. You know what I'm saying? So at this point, for people to still give a damn about a neo song means the world to me. It genuinely does. You know, um, I don't think music necessarily has a, a a time frame on it. You know, I think that if you keep it about things that don't go out of style, that's why I write a lot of love songs because love will never go out of style. It'll never get old. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I try to stay in that place to to maintain to maintain the timelessness of the whole situation. We as people, yeah, we got to age, and you know, there'll come a day where I can't spin around as fast as I can. Now, all right, cool. However, <laughs> melody, lyrics that mean something, that that ain't gonna never go out of style. Mm-hmm. So, you know, again, mm-hmm. I, I appreciate it. Um, I will say that my definition of 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 a victory has slightly changed. It's like, okay, so so by the grace of God. I've done very, very well for myself in the music industry to the point where if I never make another music dollar ever again in life, I'm gonna be all right, you know what I mean? So now I'm at a place where it's like, I wanna do what feels good to me. I wanna do the music that 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 feeds my soul because my kids are fed, you know what I'm saying? My wife is fed, we good. <laughs> so, so now it's about just enjoying music the way that I did when I first started this thing, when I was broke and it wasn't about no money. It was, it was just mm-hmm. doing it because you love it. I'm back in that place now. And I feel like you can hear that mm-hmm. in the music. And yeah. you'll hear more of that in the album when it comes out at the top of the year. I, oh, give us the I, album I, already, bro. I, I, give us the album, bro. That's what it's I was rough. gonna be. I was gonna be asking about that next. Like, yeah. are we getting any music in 2021? Because mm-hmm. I don't, I'm so, waiting I'm, for. I'm, I'm gonna let this, 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 uh, this this train wreck that we call the year get on out the way. Yeah, mm-hmm. put mine out in twenty twenty one. I'm gonna let it be one of the positive things for us to look forward to. Um, yeah, I've been working on this album for roughly two years. Um, okay, so I gotta say, initially, uh, it was taking me a little while to get it together because I was I was kind of in my head a little bit. It's like, all right, um, the sound didn't change a little bit. You know what I'm saying? The look didn't change a little bit. Attention spans and got even shorter. Where do I fit in what's going on right now? You know what I'm saying? But then I had to I had to remind myself that I am not a record label. It is not my job to sell albums. It is my job to make music because I am a musician, I'm an artist. Mm-hmm. And my only responsibility is to make sure that it's genuine, make sure that it's real, make sure that thing sound good. And that's my, and that and after that, my job is done. So I had to get back to that place. I had to remember remember that I don't do this for for accolade. I don't do this for money. I do this because I don't have a choice. It's woven into my DNA. Like I couldn't, I could not do music if I tried. So once I got back to that place, the song started flowing a little easier, you know what I'm saying? And now, now the album is done. Uh, we just got to get a couple video shots so that we can have that stuff, you know, in the cut, chilling, waiting for, for it to come out. Be looking for it at the top of the year. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. So, so, you know, Neil, I have to ask because you've penned so many records that are major hits, but I want to know, being a Neo fan, what is your favorite record that you've done? Mm. Uh, I know, it's been always- so many. <laughs> <laughs> um, How do you so choose? There was a point in time where I could not write a song if it wasn't something that I had personally been through or or something that, you know, uh, somebody close enough to me to tell me the story in graphic detail. Like, it had to be something real in order for me to write the story. Um, that's not so much the case now. I've learned how to, how to you know, how to get my fiction on, but at the, at, the, at the beginning, it had to be something real. So in that every song came from an actual experience, it's kind of hard to say this memory was better than that memory or, or this song was okay. better. Like, I, I can't really do that. You know what I mean? Like, cause every okay. song, every single song meant something, you know? Mm-hmm. So I, I, don't, I don't know. I, if, okay, all right. All right. <laughs> right, I was gonna say, if I must choose one, yeah, okay. if I must choose one. Mm. Uh, I would probably go with uh, Beyonce's Irreplaceable. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I say that because that That's song, I, I learned a lot of really valuable lessons through that song. So I originally wrote that song mm. for myself, I was gonna sing it, and uh, mm. I, I listened back and I'm like. These lyrics is a little misogynistic sounding on me. You know what I'm saying? I can have another you in a minute. Matter of fact, she'll be here in a minute. Ah, I'm gonna have my whole fan base mad at me for buying this. No, um, it's probably too good. And it worked. But if you take that exact same lyric and you mm. put it on a woman, it goes from being mean to being empowering. It's like, that's right, girl, we ain't gonna take it no more. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so like, 
like, all right, so we, we got to get this to a female. So we, we started shipping it. We, I mean, we started shopping it to different uh, different artists. Got turned down a few times from, from a few artists that you know who shall remain nameless right now because I know every time I tell this story and they hear it, they kick themselves. Oh, come on, but, come uh, on. Tell us what you know. They're nosy. Come on, it's in the mix. Ain't nobody going to see this. Come on, just the mix. Nobody going to see this. Right here. <laughs> Good. It's just us talking. <laughs> just us. I, I, I will say that it's, it's, it's names you know. It's, it's people. That, it's people that you definitely know who who just didn't understand it. And mind you, I get it because the the rougher version of the song was kind of just just the drums and the guitar. It sounded like mm. a hip hop country song, and it wasn't really nothing like that at the time. So I can understand how how some people was like, mm, I don't really get it. But then Beyonce was like, give me that, and <laughs> did what she did, and the rest is history. So wow. you now. Well, look, I got to take the steering wheel because after talking to you, you can see how business savvy and how smart you actually are. That's why I love these interviews with bringing people on the midst because you see why you're successful. It's not just because he's talented. So the man is actually a smart human being. I think we take that for granted in this bit. But with that being said, I got to ask, you invested in a really exciting new app called Loom. We want to hear all about it. How did you get involved? Okay, so so I was listening earlier when y'all was asking about uh, how you stream music in the whole line, and it's you know you got your Apple Music, you got your Spotify, you got your Pandora, I guess if if you if you slightly see it, you got <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it is what it is, but I'm right, I'm right there with you, bro. I'm I'm I'm, Thank I'm, you. I'm, a, I'm a little more seasoned than you are, so I, so I get it. But um, the thing the thing with these with these sites is that um with these apps is that they are not really geared towards new artists. You know, as a new artist, mm -hmm. I mean, mind you, we live in a great time where you can make your own music at home and upload it to Spotify yourself and wait on your check every month. Now you might get a check for two dollars, but <laughs> a check we live in a time where you could do that now. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I, you couldn't do that before. Now you had you had to have a record deal. You had to do it that way. Now you can do it on your own. But major artists have the machine behind them that's going to make sure that they get the right placement on these playlists that are so important as a new as a new artist as an independent artist you don't get that here's where loom steps in so loom is a social media slash music streaming app that is geared specifically towards independent artists um so here's how it works so you you upload your music you can upload as much music as you want for free right and uh, it gives your fans the opportunity. Mind you, all the streams count. So every time your song gets played, it counts as a stream. But we also have this mm -hmm. thing called uh, in-app gifting. Uh, we, it's, uh, we have our own currency. It's called notes. And I, a note equates to the same, uh, the same amount of money as a stream. So mm -hmm. say I'm listening to your song and I like it. So I, I played it once. That's a stream. And then I could gift you 100 notes if I felt like it. So that's 101 streams. You get it? So, mm, so, it, no. so not only so not only does it allow you to to monetize your music right away, but also like create your own fan base. Like your fan base gets in on the ground floor. They can say they was there and helped you get to where you, wherever you eventually get to. Like that's that's mm. what Loom is about. So that's that's, that's one great. of the that's dope. Dope. amazing. Yeah, yeah that's dope. It's beautiful that you're giving this platform to unsigned artists because they need this love. And it's so rare mm -hmm. that as an unsigned artist, you have this huge platform that you're giving them to be able to mm -hmm. showcase their talent to the world. It's incredible, man. I think that the main reason that we did it is, I mean, aside from the monetization, like, okay, it's every every artist needs to be able to, to live off their art if that's the if that's what they choose to do. And mm -hmm. it's a little harder to do with some of the bigger with some of the bigger streaming sites. That's just kind of what it is. But aside mm -hmm. from that, um, I, we we're trying to get we're trying to get back that artist fan relationship. Like like y'all was talking about uh, uh, CDs and, and albums and all of that back day. You know what the best part of a CD was back in the day? The booklet on the inside with the music mm -hmm. and the yeah. thing wrote it and the artwork. Yeah. And all that. Like, where do you go to get that? Thing? You know what I'm saying? It's like it, 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 it kind of became. It kinda, oh, oh, cut it out, Romeo! Cut it out! Thank <laughs> you, thank cut you. Someone's standing up for me. <laughs> anyway, please continue with what you were no, saying. I, I just we're trying to to recreate that that fandom that, that once was, you know So Nowadays it's just streams and you don't know, a stream is a faceless, nameless, yeah, whatever. Like you don't yeah, know where the streams yeah. came from. You don't know if this person really like, you don't know if the streams is real, you know what I'm saying? It's, it could yeah. be whatever. So we, we're trying to get back to where, you know, a fan is a, a fan of a person is a true fan of a person and they go and they go yeah. show how much of a fan they are by gifting you notes or whatever the case may be, making sure that the whole world knows who you are and that's what that's what Loom is about. Is about making sure that that 
you get to be the artist that you want to be without uh you know without all the the extra red tape that comes with it nowadays yeah so, so put so us do on you have who to, should we so be like, streaming on loom yeah i'm, I'm gonna right. say how do you sign up like how do you go about signing up like do you well just, it's, it's an app, it's app so, so it's it's set, okay. it's set you know all the app stores we got uh we got the web version now we got the um uh, uh we got the android version now so oh. you it's it's just go on the app store and type in L U M and and it'll, it'll pop up. Okay. What artist should we be streaming on Loom? Put us on. Put us on. So yeah. so uh, <laughs> earlier in, earlier in the year, I did a, a remix contest for for the You to Love joint. I put the streams up. I put the uh, put the stems up there and let the creators just kind of do their own thing. And uh, I, the person who who won, I, I gifted them a million notes. Right off top, bye bye. bye. So, um, I got so I got a shout out. Uh, my man, uh, his name is Devon Terrell. Devon Terrell. He's he's extra extra dope. He's R and B. It's a slight twist on that thing, but he's. I, I feel like I feel like he. I feel like he could be next. He could that be one of them. Devon Terrell. Be looking for him. Yeah, yeah. Right. Everyone See, knows that name. Let me let me get my phone and download Loom right now. I'm right. like, yeah. literally, like I'm. On. <laughs> I'm gonna no, make me of them. Neil, we want to thank you so much for getting into the mix with us tonight. And please, yes. everybody who's watching out there, make sure that you go add his song, You to Love, to your new playlist and go down the Loom app. You got to go download A's it right set. now. Yeah. 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 New artist. Or if you're an artist yourself, put yourself on the platform and grow your fan base. Yes. So we got to take a quick break, but we'll be right back on the mix, you guys. Thank you so much, Neo. Neo, <laughs> you are the GOAT. You are yeah, the GOAT. Let me get the app. <laughs> I love it.